The Dixie Republican Forum hosted a forum featuring four Republican so candidates well, Tuesday. What, what the I'm candidates really included Greg Aldred, Gil Almquist, Dean Cox, and Jimmy Keston. Each county commission candidate was given an opening and closing statement and were asked several questions during the hour-long forum. Here are highlights of some of those questions. I am Jimmy Keston, um, and um, I am not a politician. <laughs> never worked in government in any capacity, and, um, and I believe strongly that that is important because we need people of character with a genuine commitment to the shared community values that we live by. I feel that I have the experience and background on how county government works. Learn from the bottom up. I volunteered in search and rescue. I volunteered in emergency communications. I have not sought out positions. I've had opportunities open for me. True love for the county began not only with the hikes, but then an interest came when they started having the feds close roads or limit my abilities to go where I'd like to go in this great county. And at that point, I had a passion for actually saying, where can we fight off those that are interested in literally taking over? And it obviously is the county level. Uh, I've been told in the past that they didn't need to elect me for the ideas that I may have for the county, that they can do that without electing me. And that kind of hurt me. I have the vision for you, and I know how important it is to listen to you. And together, we'll take this right into the future. Next question is, what is the proper role of county government? So tell us what your view of the role of the county government is. Well, the first and most important role of any uh, uh, government agency is to protect the individual rights of individual citizens. That is the purpose of government. It is, uh, government is not there to be a self-sustaining uh, entity that uh, has its own mindset. It is to be accountable, to protect the individual property rights and personal rights of the individuals who live in this county. I believe that government that governs closest to the people governs best. I firmly am a supporter of small and limited government, and I believe that government should only do that which we can't do for ourselves, that, uh, that it can do best that we can't uh, do for ourselves. For example, in public safety, law enforcement. And your expectations in the county are, uh, is a road going to be open? Are the flood control issues going to be uh, managed properly? Are there expectations in the school system? Certainly. Are there expectations at the jail? How are we going to affect the lives of law-abiding citizens if we don't have a jail that operates at full capacity or at least the function is proper? But public safety is really the duty of government. The emergency services, we want the fire department to show up at our house and our, our sheriffs to show up, but more important, just to reiterate what Dean said, we have a community that is full of volunteers. A key function of the county is law enforcement, and yet we've also heard talk about uh, individual rights. So what's that balance? How do we find that right balance between law enforcement <laughs> and individual rights? We win, don't we? I mean, it's private <laughs> property rights. Somebody told me I'm worried about the development here and, and the growth and all that. And I said, how do you dictate economics? If there's a need for it, people will spend the money. If it's your private property, how can I tell you how to develop it? I never was a fan of this Envision Dixie. By the way, I just want you to know that. When it comes down to trust, we need to <coughs> say, uh, we are trustworthy. Let us provide for ourselves. Let us own a gun. You trust us, and we'll trust you to protect our right to do that. Granted, as has been well said, there is a point at which law must come into play and, pro and provide and protect the safety of others those who live in our unincorporated areas may want a little less structure than those who choose to live in the cities. The county cannot impose guidelines on the cities. You will find out that the county is very much a freedom-loving organization and we're hopeful that citizens will be mindful of their neighbors. Unless and until a case can be made 
that the choices and the actions of an individual are infringing on the rights of someone else, then government has no business sticking their nose in. You've actually done a great job, budget has come in under your budget, and you're collecting more money than you've actually expended. Would you be willing to return that to the taxpayers? I've never seen a government refund. They just, they just keep whatever they, they, they get, and they never return it. Would you, would you do that? We have started taking a partnership with the city of St. George, with Ivan's, with Dixie State College and other entities to make sure that we're taking those funds that are allowed to us and paid actually by visitors to this area and using them to benefit all of you. Taking in more of your money than is needed to run the government efficiently, then yes, absolutely, we need to find ways to lower the amount of money we're taking. We need to find ways to uh, reduce taxes any way we can. Yes, there are, uh, uh, there's a place for a prudent reserve. All of us ought to have a prudent reserve. Our government spends every penny they give them. I do like reserves. We've seen what it's done up at the state when we've, we've had those opportunities, but it can become excessive. And if it is, absolutely, we need to give it back to us as taxpayers. It has to come back in some way. It hasn't been done, but there have been entities like governments of St. George, for example, and others where we have uh, run a surplus. And that is generally allocated towards things, whether it's an increased public safety through fire trucks or other <coughs> things where you can genuinely improve your city. I'm sure that the candidates would be happy to stick around and answer questions. They want to make sure you walk away uh, with all your questions answered.